For as many years as I can remember, I've had a contentious relationship with my little brother. Don't get me wrong, I love Zack, but he'd be an absolute lie to say that we always get along well. While we were growing up, our personalities were two that were sure to clash with each other. He was usually hot-headed and emotional, while I was usually calm and stoic. However, we shared the issue of stubbornness, and so, nearly any activity we did together could have become a bickering experience under the right circumstances. For example, for nearly seven years, Zack and I had an ongoing argument about whether Aquafina or Dizani made better water. It still hasn't been resolved, we just got bored of arguing about it. You can see that my brother and I have always been bad at resolving our own arguments. Usually, a parent would have to step in and force us to make up. But, he and I have always had something to do that almost never makes us mad at each other, that being video games. Zack and I always got along famously when we had a video game as our common enemy instead of each other. For the most part, I would play the game while Zack would watch and advise me. This pattern came naturally. I was older and better at video games, and Zack was pretty bad at giving advice while he played, so he usually decided to ride shotgun. But, there was one game franchise that both of us had to have. And that was Pokemon. Like a lot of kids, Zack and I loved Pokemon. When new games released, we would save our pitiful income for weeks to buy them. However, there was a snag that came with every new release. If you're unfamiliar with the Pokemon business strategy, I'll use this time to fill you in. Trust me, this is relevant. Game Freak, the people who make Pokemon, release a new main series game every few years. When they do, they always release the game in two different versions, with minor differences between them. Naturally, I would always face a bit of a dilemma when the new games came out. How do I make sure that I get the version that I want? Call it petty or self-serving, but I was always focused on one version or the other, and would have been pretty discontented if I hadn't got the one I wanted. So, my goal at every new Pokemon release became convincing Zack that he actually wanted the one that I did not. The first time I can remember this cycle playing out was in 2003, when the games Pokemon Ruby version and Sapphire version were released. This will put me at about 8 years old and Zack at 5. Before then, Z and I had only had one copy of the previous Pokemon game between us. With the new game on the horizon, we finally had an opportunity to get our own versions. Now, I was a simple kid with simple tastes. My favorite color is blue, so I decided I wanted the sapphire version. Plus, I thought the fish guy on the front was a lot cooler than the lizard guy on the cover of Ruby. So, with my goal in mind, I set out to achieve it. My strategy was implemented quickly, and I made my first move in our very first conversation about the coming games. Matt, we're finally each gonna have a Pokemon! How much are they gonna be, do you think? The games? I don't know, like 30 bucks. I think that's how much they usually are. Ugh, that's stupid. I don't want to do any more chores. Can't Mom just make Dad do them? Only if you don't want enough money. So, which one do you think you want? Uh, I don't know. But the fish one looks kind of cool. Really? I thought you'd like the ruby one better. Isn't red your favorite color? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So what? Well, I mean, if you get the blue one, you'll be seeing blue all the time instead of seeing red. Really? Oh. Huh. I don't know which one to get then. Clearly, Zack and I weren't the most detailed communicators, but at this time, I believed that my point had been established. It wasn't exactly the most complex logic to use, favorite color equals favorite game, but it was all I could come up with. I would have to drive that weak point home with more persuasive arguments later on. The next few weeks consisted of intense chore work for Zack and I, but I made sure to learn as much as I could about the differences between the two games while I worked. There weren't many I could use to my advantage, but in the end, I only needed one to convince Zack. In certain areas of the game, Ruby and Sapphire versions contained a few Pokemon that were unique to each game. One of those Pokemon was Zangoose, a mongoose exclusive to Ruby version. I took one look at this guy and knew that Zack would like the design. Zangoose is a cool-looking, hot-tempered creature with a large red lightning bolt on its head and body. Essentially, he's a five-year-old hothead spirit animal. In addition to this, the Pokemon that replaces him as Sapphire is one of Zack's biggest fears, a large and poisonous snake called Seviper. The next opportunity I had, I mentioned this to him. He and I were quietly...